Good morning everybody and welcome to Vlogtober. Today is Tuesday the 17th of October 2023 and as you can see I'm in my craft room. I'm just about to do some sewing. I've got a few bags that I need to make for the shop. I have downloaded a new pattern. Um, I'll show it to you. I've not got the yarn for it yet. I'm going to get all my boxes out after with all my style crafting and I'm going to try and get some yarn. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, the, today's video, I don't know what's what's happening today um, because it is a sewing day. It's a working day for me today. So it's probably going to be quite a short one and not a lot to show you. Um, but if there is anything exciting, which... I'll be honest, I don't think they will be. Tim and I have a very, very simple life and things of excitement very rarely happen. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to do some sewing and sort out some of this um, yarn for my hat. Last night I um, completed... No, I didn't. Well, yes, I did. I completed my second candle, just the pillar candle. I haven't done the decoration or the um, wick yet. I've decided I'm going to do all three. I think all three of them will be better. Um, they'll look nicer together as they should be. So I did that last night. I have tried this morning to do my um, lotus hat. Oh, I have done loads and loads of cabling. I've never had problems with cabling, but could I understand this pattern? No, I could not. And I tried it and then I tried it again and I undid it because I didn't think it was right anyway till in the end I gave in. And I had to um, get in touch with Karen from Stitches and Jacks, my friend, who has already done this hat. Um, and yeah, she tried to explain a little bit better and then all of a sudden it just clicked thought gosh how ridiculously I can't believe I couldn't understand it but to be fair it's a long long time since I've done any knitting of cables and things so yeah um yeah so that's it really so I'm going to crack on and um, get some sewing done and sort some um yarn out and last night before um whilst we was cooking tea my my video was already uploading so I couldn't show it to you but the sky last night was beautiful um, a really unusual sky as the sun was going down so I managed to record a little bit of it so I'm going to show you that as well don't know where I'll tag that somewhere along the way um, so yeah I don't know what I'm going to say to you now so I'm just going to get cracking and um, I'll show you the show you the pattern and the yarn when I've sorted it out here's that hat pattern I was just talking about it is the toadstool hat by the burrow 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 by Alison Tarry at The Borough UK. Isn't that a lovely um, artwork there? How beautiful is that? Anyway, so this is the hat and I'm doing this one. So I've just been stash diving and them are the colours. They're not exactly the same. The two greens are different really, but I want to use stash. So um, I've picked out the best that I can. I think, to be fair, I've done pretty well apart from this green. It needs to be a bit more of um, a brighter green, to be fair, but that'll do. I'm sure it won't look that bad once it's done. And I am going out tomorrow, so I will try and get a pom-pom that colour. Um, I have got a couple of pom-poms, so we'll check before um, to see if I have got one that colour, but I don't think I have. Now, I ummed and ahed about making this um, because... Um, let me turn you around and I'll explain why. I've just checked. I've got a purple pom-pom and a pink pom-pom. So that is not going to work with that. So we'll have to buy a pom-pom. These pom-poms are... Um, oh, not Rico. Mm. Don't know. I can't remember what they are, but they're really, really affordable. Um, I think they're about 2 99 each, these, from... Um, off the internet and I get mine from Black Sheep and the 2 99 So, like I was saying before, I ummed and ahed about making this hat because I have got crazy taste. I'm not saying I haven't. I like really bright colours and things that are wacky that people think perhaps I shouldn't have at my age. But you know what? The older I get, the more I think. I'm looking at my iPad to try and find you something. The more I think, does it matter? I might as well embrace my um, 
my taste and just do what I want to do. So I'm going to make that hat. And then tomorrow, I have shown you this already and I'll see if I can find it. Wait there, I'll see right, if I Right, I found it. I really want to make this scarf. I have shown it to you before. It's by Eleonora Tully and she's um, over at Coastal Crochet. Now, I don't know if you remember last week, I did show it to you and I said to Tim, what do you think? And Tim doesn't like it. He just, he just doesn't like it at all. Um, but Tim isn't going to wear it and I've had a couple of comments sort of saying oh are you making that or um, I've shown it to, to a couple of my friends and they're like mm, that's interesting but you know what I love it so I've decided I'm going to do it I am going to do it and I've sorted some yarn out for it there is a yarn pack that you can buy um, but again I'm trying to use out of stash and it's not completely exactly the same colours but does it matter um and I have decided and made a conscious decision I'm going to make the, the mushroom hat and I'm going to make my mushroom scarf because I absolutely love mushrooms toadstools anything fairy like and why should I not do it so yeah that's what I've made a conscious decision today I ummed and ahed about it I am a little bit like that I'm quite easily put off things if other people don't like what I like and I need to stop doing that because that's what makes us all different isn't it so yeah I've had a bit of a rant there and I didn't mean to but this is coming out tomorrow so part one of this is tomorrow um and I do know that lovely Davina hi Davina um if you're watching is making it over on Little Workroom Crafts. So that made me feel good as well, because I thought, well, didn't Davina make some lovely things? And yeah, I can I can sort of crochet along with Davina as I'm doing it. Um, so yeah, that's what I decided to do. Anyway, I'm definitely going to go now because I need to do some work. I mean, I could sit and talk to you all day and play around with wool and sort out colours and patterns, but yeah, it's not going to get me uh, my bags made for my shop, is it? So I'll see you in a bit. Take care. Bye. I've done um, these two bags. This one, um, I know it's just a, it's quite late on in October, but I just had some little bits of this fabric left. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to cut it up and do little patchworks. And if anybody wants it, then it's going to be in the shop. This one I've done, um, but obviously not constructed it yet. And then I've got these three to do. But I found, well, no, I've not found. I knew I had this. Look at this fabric. Look at that badgy there. And a hair and obviously mushrooms. Um, and I'm going to try something new with this. Um, but for now, I'm going to finish for the day because my little dog needs his walk and his tea. It's five o'clock, so I'm going to take the dog for a walk and have a stroll myself, and I shall be back later on um, to say good night to you. Oh my word, I am out walking Zach, and it is freezing. I don't know what the temperature is, but it's not warm. <laughs> um, yeah, apparently we're going to get a storm sometime soon as well. I don't know if it's coming tonight or tomorrow, but Tim was saying he heard on the radio before that we were going to get a storm. Um, so that's all we need. Anyway, I have to go now to do um, doggy duties. I'll speak to you later. I just wanted to come out. It's about 20 to 7 now. Um, I'm uploading my video already, so I can't show you this now. But look at that beautiful sky. Sunset. I'll show it you in the morning. So we're back from our walk. It, like I say, it's freezing cold outside. I have got a hot drink and I've put on my um, 
fluffy um, pyjamas because it's freezing and we're just about to have dinner. So I thought I would come on and say good night. Um, tomorrow we are going to Black Sheep with Mr and Mrs Jacks from Stitches and Jacks. Very excited about that. Um, and yeah, I'll take you with us. So that's all I've got to tell you really for today. I told you it was a boring one today, a work day, so not a lot to say or do really. Um, so I'll say good night and I shall see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Bye.